Last night kicked off the latest production over at Augustana College. The theater department opened a twist on a classic. This is Dracula, a feminist revenge fantasy. It's all about reinventing the story into an all new dark comedic drama. So of course, joining us now to chat about Dracula is director Jennifer Poppel and lead actor James Wheeler. Thank you guys both so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Yeah, happy to be here. Okay, when people think of Dracula, this performance probably isn't what comes to mind. <laughs> Talk about what's in this play. Well, I mean, it's for people that know the novel and love the novel, there's a lot of familiarity. All of the characters are there. There's just some twists on it. So Renfield and Van Helsing are not men, they're women in this production. Mm. Uh, Dracula's brides get a much bigger role. Dracula himself is a little more uh, complicated, fun. Yeah, I think, you know, there's, there's such a just standard power fantasy about Dracula in this typical novel, but this just, you get to see his interaction with other people a little bit more and how it affects the world around him, which is kind of fun to explore. James, I gotta ask. Yeah. Is this your natural hair color? Or did you dye it for this performance? This is not my natural okay. hair color. It's, Ooh, I get it, so nervous yeah. asking people that. It's, it's rather close, and I still have red hair normally, but they asked me to darken it a little bit and stay within the red family. Um, but yeah, we wanted something a little bit a little, with a little more gravity than, uh, than my regular hair color. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Jennifer, I wanted to ask, what were some of the challenges with this play specifically and some of the twists in it that you guys had to overcome when you were blocking it and figuring it all out? Yeah, I mean, we were talking about this, uh, you know, backstage, and I think it, I've never worked with fake blood before, so, oh. you know, like, it's a, it's a vampire play, so having fake blood, uh, so trying to figure out the mechanics behind that, because there's bites, there's wounds, there's staking that happens, um, it's been a really fun challenge, but it was a challenge to be like, how do we solve this, um, and hopefully audiences will think we solved it well. Well, and those photos that we're showing right now on your screen, you can see all the blood on those photos, too, so yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I can only imagine washing all that off after yeah. all that. Yeah, we have a great crew that does that for us, so. Oh well, congratulations on opening night last night. How did it go? It went really well. I think, you know, we had a really enthusiastic audience. I, you know, the actors were more than ready to open. Um, tonight, of course, is Friday the 13th, which was an accident, a happy accident. Exactly. Um, so it's a great night for people to come out and um, see the show. I know, when I called Augustana, I was like, can they come on Friday the 13th? <laughs> yes. They were like, that would be perfect. <laughs> How did you think it went? I thought it went fantastic. Um, this was a fun process for me because I got to jump in halfway through. Um, I came into the state halfway through the process, so it's been kind of a whirlwind from the first rehearsal to opening night, but I thought it was fantastic. Everybody seemed like they were just having a really good time, and seeing the reaction on the audience's faces as they were realizing things along with the show was really fantastic. Really quickly, that's what I wanted to ask yeah. about. What do you want audiences to walk away feeling when they come watch this production? Gosh. Oh. Um, wow, I don't know. I mean, it's, I, I want people to have a good time when it comes to the, you know, Halloween season and everything, and I want them to walk away feeling like they've seen another version of Dracula that they enjoy, but I don't know if you have any other... Yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's obviously some twists, so I think, you know, Kate Hamill, who wrote this production, is really trying to make some comments on, you know, gender and gender norms, both in Victorian London and probably today, too, so I'm just hopeful that audiences, you know, take that away as something to think about. Guys, thank you both so much for coming in today, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. <laughs> All right, guys, mark your calendars. Dracula, a feminist revenge fantasy, is playing at Augustana's College main stage tonight and tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Then on Sunday, they've got a matinee at 1.30. Tickets are $15, seniors are $12, and Augie students, of course, get in for free.